Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan, and welcome back to another Exploring the World of Azeroth and World of Warcraft. Today is very special because we are going to be starting a three-part video on exploring the Out of Bounds city of Gilneas. Now, you may be wondering, well, there's the runes of Gilneas, and that's true. There is the runes of Gilneas, which you can get to and fly over, but we're not talking about the runes of Gilneas. We're talking about Gilneas, the starting zone of the Worgen. Now, this is impossible to get to, right? Unless you play a Worgen, obviously. Now, there's already been other videos made of this, but I wanted to start my own series and do my own videos on it. I think it'd be fun. Uh, but I wanted to do it over three parts. And the first one is going to be exploring the outside area. The second is actually going to be exploring inside the city of Gilneas. And then we're going to be exploring the Out of Bounds, which is uh, the classic version or vanilla version of uh, Trisfall Glades and uh, yeah, Hills of Bradford Hills, Silver Pine Forest. Um, I think you can even see some of Wrathy Highlands. I don't know. I haven't really been back there much yet, so I'm excited to explore it and hopefully we can see a lot of things going on in the world. Um, Anyways, if you guys have not, I please ask you to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I normally don't ask in the beginning of videos, but I wanted to today because I'm trying to reach a thousand subs. I, it's taken me almost eight years now, <laughs> but we're finally getting traction. We're moving again, and I'm very excited. So if you haven't, I, please consider subscribing to the channel. I want to get hit that thousand subscriber mark and be able to keep moving forward with YouTube. It would just be... Awesome to hit that. <laughs> but anyways, all right, let's get started. So there's going to be three things that you're going to need in order to do this. And I'm going to explain how to do this. Well, right now we are on top of the Gray Main Manor and we are over here. Now on this part of the tower, you're going to be able to see that I'm on top of like the very tip top here almost on this ledge over here. Now, for whatever reason, when you come on this ledge, the chat in the bottom left, you'll see changes from the runes of Gilneas to Gilneas city. So what happens is for some reason right here in this spot, you're actually in the original Worgen starting Gilneas zone. But if you come back forward, you're in the runes of Gilneas. So what you want to do is you want to come up here to make sure your chat changes. And there's three things you're going to need. You're going to need a pinch whistle nitro fuel potion. You're going to need the cooking fire from the cooking profession. And then you're also going to be the need to be level 40. That is the cap you have to do in order to do this glitch, because in order to use these potions, the pinch whistle nitro fuel, you have to be level 40. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to kill ourselves. <laughs> so we're going to drop a campfire right here, or cooking fire. And what we're going to do is we're going to start drinking these nitro fuel potions. And what this does is it actually makes you take extreme fire damage so we're going to take another one and i think it takes about three of these to kill you yeah i think we're gonna to have to drink one more or maybe not okay just two just two all right and if we release our spirit and we did this properly we should be in the original gilneas city in the worgen starting zone which yeah we did it cool so we are officially in Gilneas. Now this is a really cool glitch. Uh, one of the really cool things about this though is that you have to you have to go over this way. So the problem, one of the problems is though is that uh, <laughs> when you when you die and then you release your spirit, you actually start all the way over here on this side. Well, we need to get to the main city, so we're gonna have to do some swimming here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way along the cliff side here. And the good thing is we're playing a night elf, so we have that extra speed on the, the wisp when we die. So we're gonna walk a lot faster to get where we need to go. But what's really cool is you can see the uh, forsaken ships out here. The one that spawns out in the distance. Um, yeah, so you can actually see we are in Gilneas, not the runes. We're actually in Gilneas. So let's go check this out. 
So there's actually a path over here that we can get up to. And we can climb up here. And once we climb up here... We should be able to cross the uh, the land mass over here. There we go. So we're going to go up here on the cliff. And we're going to head out this way. Now what's really cool about this is that normally you're never impossibly supposed to get here. Right? You, you shouldn't be here to begin with. This is the worgen starting zone. You should only be here being a worgen. Obviously you can get to here by doing the runes of Gilneas, but that's not Gilneas, right? We want to get to Gilneas, the actual city of Gilneas. So that's what we're doing now, which is pretty awesome. So it's kind of cool that you can get to a zone that you're never supposed to get to unless you play a certain, you know, race or character. So Now what's interesting about this is I think we're in the phase of where... Um, actually, I don't know. So I don't know if we're already... because So I did this on my Hunter one time. And one of the things that you do is, uh, you, for some reason on my hunter, I was actually in the last phase of the worgen starting zone. So like all of this had already been destroyed and sunken and, uh, the ship was here over here as it always is, but the night elves are there and all that. So it's like I completed the worgen starting zone and actually being a worgen, <laughs> it was, it was a trip. But like when I do this on my demon hunter, for some reason it has me... I don't know. We're going to find out. I don't know exactly where, but I think we haven't started anything and we can actually go into the city over here and we can go check out everything. So what's kind of cool is you can actually go into the starting zone where the worgens usually start and but I don't think you can get the quest. Obviously, that would be kind of cool if you could get a quest from the person, you know, and actually do the starting zone of worgen. Uh, but be like another class. I thought that would be really cool, but I don't think you can, but we're going to find out. But like I said, this is part one. We're going to be exploring the outer part of the city all around here. Then we're going to do the city and then we're going to do out of bounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way over here. We finally made it to the cathedral and we're going to accept. And there we go. We are officially alive in Gilneas. So let's go take a look around. This is so cool. So normally in Dusthaven, if you remember, in the Worgen starting zone, it's been a minute since I played a Worgen. But uh, there's a... You usually spawn right here. It's either here or here. And uh, you come out here and you do the whole quest line with the Forsaken coming in and they sink your landmass. And there's a quest down in the basement. You, like, save the kids. And uh, and then you go on the ships with the... Uh, they shoot you out on the ship with the... Uh, Firing the, um, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it. The, uh, what do you call those? Catapults. There we go. Gosh, I can't think of what they were called. So this is really cool. I think it's really neat that we can do this. Now, look, you can even see the crack of where actually it sinks. So I don't know how much is actually here when it comes to seeing everything, but I'm assuming a big part of it is still here. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to come back this way and uh, we're going to go explore this way and then see if we can make our way all the way in a circle and let's go see what's actually still here from the Worgen starting zone because normally we're never supposed to be here. So the game doesn't register that we're a Worgen. And so we're actually just living in the Worgen starting zone. Can this actually open? Oh, it can. That's cool. Normally there's NPCs down here. That's really neat. Now, it's been quite a minute since I've actually been a Worgen. Uh, but I do remember bits and pieces of it uh, when I did the whole Worgen quest line and leveling up a Worgen. Because actually, I have a pretty high level Worgen Priest. That's cool. It's cool that you can still explore and discover things as you're out here. And what's kind of cool is I 
think if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, but I wonder if you can actually get an achievement for exploring all of Gilneas when you're out here. Because normally you're not supposed to get that unless you're a worgen, but you might be able to. One thing that I do want to find out is if you can get to uh, Kazan and the Lost Isles. That's what I've been really trying to get to for many, many years, um, but I don't think it's possible. The only way I think it might be possible is if, for some reason, you can get to the Maelstrom in the beginning before you go into Deep Home, and you can maybe change the chat like we did for Gilneas, and then get there that way. I don't know. I've never tried it. I've always wanted to. My only problem is I've done the... I did the Maelstrom quest years ago when I was in Cataclysm, when the expansion actually launched. So I don't know if there's actually a way to redo that. Um, what are we doing here? All right. We need to make our way up here. All right. We're going to climb some of these cliffs here. Thank God for the Demon Hunter class. All right, so we're going to make our way this way. That's cool, Corpse Den. It's like everything is still intact. Where are we at? So we're currently down here. Um... Let's go see the whole druid thing going on down here. We're going to find out. Oh, look at the crash cart. Okay, so we're actually pretty far into the storyline already. My question is, is there anything spawning over here, like crocodiles or anything, that we can actually attack? Oh, we can. No way. Okay, so we're actually going to go kill crocodiles in Gilneas. That's insane. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. All right, so we're actually going to head this way. And we're going to go do full circle here. Because I want to go see how far we are into this Worgen timeline. We're going to go down there here in a minute. But we're going to go check this way. Oh, no way. That's cool. So there's actually here fighting the wargans. Can we kill these things? There we go. For st for Stormglen and for Gilneas. That's really cool. So there actually are uh, NPCs here that we can interact with. Interesting. I'm curious to see if there's anything down here. Let's go find out. Now, if you remember in the uh, storyline, um, if I remember correctly, there's like this giant tree over here. And you help like defend the tree from the, uh, the invaders. And I don't remember exactly what the quest line held, but... It's cool that we can get here with the tree intact. Yeah, everything's still here. Wow. That's cool. All right, let's go back up. Let's head out this way. Keep forgetting to turn off my HUD here just to see where we're going. Oh, look at that. There's the spider. That's cool. All right, we're going to keep going this way. I don't think there's any NPCs over here. 
But we can go find out. I don't remember if you actually go in there or not, but I don't think so. I think you just go on top of here, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way in, but it's really cool that you can get here, though. Oh, there goes uh, Hillsbrad Foothills. Alright, where are we going? So we're heading this way. Alright, we need to go explore over here, because we need to go discover that. So we're going to keep along the trail here. And I'm going to be quiet for a minute so I can let you all enjoy the scenery. Oh, apparently we can't go in the mine, okay. I'm curious to see if we could see anybody, like, new Worgen starting or anything like that. Actually doing quests. I really need to put the uh, mount gear on my mount so I can walk across the water. All right, there we go. The Gildanaeus wall is repaired. Still. Okay. Well, I think we're almost making a full circle here. All right, we just discovered the Emberstone Mine. We're going to head out this way. So it seems like everything is still intact that we can get to. Alright, well I think we did a full circle. All we need to do is head over here to Keel Harbor. And let's find out if there's any Worgens here. Oh, does this gate open? Let's go find out. Ah, it does. That's cool. Normally there's an underground part here, remember? There's like this wall or whatever comes out. I don't think we actually need to open that. I think you can just walk on through. Actually, unless it's over here that you actually come up out of. I don't remember. It's been a while. I did do the reclaiming of Gilneas, uh, you know, for that achievement. But I know there's a part over here where the you come out of like the ground or whatever because there's like a secret tunnel. Oh, this is kind of crazy looking. There goes the Darnassus uh, Night Elf ship. Oh, look at an NPC. Oh, it's a banker. Open, Interesting. Please. So we can actually put stuff in here too. Huh. That's cool. 
Oh, look at the map. Part of the map is all glitched out. Can we actually get on the ship? Oh, we can. Let's go. Remember, that's where we died up on top of. We're kind of like back to full circle. If only we could allow flying mounts to be here. All right, everyone. Well, I think that's full circle. We checked out all of Gilneas, or the surrounding area. So, part two, we're going to be going into the Gilneas city. Uh, I'm going to see if I can break in and um, see if we can accept any quests in there to actually start the Worgen questing zone. That would be really cool. I don't know if you can or not, but we're going to find out. All right, guys. As anyways, my name is Nathan. Like I said in the beginning of this video, if you haven't, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subs. And as always, I'll see you on part two. Take care.